Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use a battery to power up your uh, refrigerator. So, uh, what you're going to need and how to wire everything together. Alright, so what you're going to need is a battery, a power inverter like this here, and cables to connect your inverter to your battery. So, these cables can be like this. Uh, with uh, lugs on both ends or like these with uh, lugs on one end which connect to the terminals of the inverter and alligator clips on the other end which connect to the terminals of the battery. Now for this tutorial I have a uh, 12 volt 100 amp hour uh, deep cycle battery. Uh, I actually have two of these batteries which if I wanted to I could connect in series or in parallel and I would get twice the energy capacity which means that uh, my refrigerator would be able to run for twice the amount of time but to keep things simple for this tutorial I will be using a single uh, battery if you are interested in learning how to connect uh, your batteries together you will find uh, videos linked in the description below where I show you how to uh, wire your batteries either in series or in parallel so make sure to check those videos uh, out now as I will show you in a second what we're going to do is we'll uh, connect the terminals of our inverter to the terminals of the battery and then we'll be able to plug in our refrigerator uh, right here before moving on, let's talk about the inverter. So first, why do you need a power inverter? So for two main reasons. The first reason is that a battery uh, will provide DC or direct current power. And most appliances in your home, including uh, your refrigerator, will require AC or alternating current uh, power. So the inverter will take the DC power from the battery and turn it into AC power that your fridge requires. The second reason is that your fridge requires 120 volts or 240 volts to uh, operate. So depending on uh, the specific fridge and also on your uh, location. Uh, a battery will only provide a low voltage. As mentioned before, this is a 12 volt battery. So even if we, we wire four of them uh, in series, we would only get 48 volts. So the inverter will take that low voltage power and turn it into a high voltage power that the uh, fridge uh, requires. So here I have a, uh, an inverter rated at 500 watts, which means that it can provide up to 500 watts of power continuously. This inverter is enough to run my fridge because I only have a 7 cubic feet refrigerator. If you have a larger refrigerator, you will likely need a, a bigger uh, inverter with a higher power rating. But in most cases, a 1000 watt or a 1500 watt inverter will likely be enough to run most uh, refrigerator. Another thing to consider is the input voltage of uh, the uh, inverter. So this inverter has an input voltage of 12 volts which means that it's compatible with my uh, 12 volt battery here. But if I had for example two of these batteries wired in series making a 24 volt uh, battery bank I would need a 24 volt uh, inverter. So keep that in mind. There are uh, two more specifications to consider when sizing uh, an inverter for your fridge. I have a video on that topic linked in the description below, so make sure to check that out. Uh, now let's see how to connect everything together and plug in our fridge and see if this inverter is capable of running the fridge. So to connect your inverter to the battery, the first step is to connect the uh, negative terminal of the inverter to the negative terminal of the battery and then we can connect the positive terminal of the inverter to the positive terminal of the battery. So let's do that. And just like that, our inverter is connected to the battery. 
Now, I've turned on the uh, inverter, and you can see here it shows a uh, voltage of 12.8 volts. So this is the voltage uh, across the terminals of the battery, and it just means that the battery is fully charged. Now, all we have to do is plug in our refrigerator right here. So the uh, fridge is plugged into the inverter right now, as you can see. And as you can see here, our fridge is up and running. One more thing I wanted to add before wrapping this up is that I did a test uh, of uh, how long this battery will be able to run my uh, refrigerator. And I made a video about that which you will find linked in the description below. So uh, my refrigerator, even though it's relatively small, it's not very energy uh, efficient. So it turns out it takes it just under 7 hours to consume 50% of this battery's capacity. In terms of how long a battery like this one will be able to run your specific fridge, it will depend on the size of the fridge, its energy efficiency and its energy consumption in uh, general. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope this was helpful and yeah, have a nice day, see you in the next one.